Here's someone they had grey hair. I, I actually knew the leader of the opposition before the Liberal Party gave him a makeover in the 80s when he had those Menzian eyebrows, before they gave him the Bugs Bunny teeth, before he used to, when he used to speak without lisping or spitting. I knew him then, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I knew him then. So, Mr Speaker, I don't Order. think, I don't Order. think the, the opposition ought to go on about the complexion of people here. Let's remind us, who gave us the worst recession in 60 years? Paul Keating. Who gave us the highest unemployment since the Order. Great Depression? Paul Keating. Those Who gave us the left. highest current account deficit on record? Paul Keating. Who gave us the highest level of foreign debt since the Great Depression? Paul Keating. Order. Who gave us the highest... Order. Oh, it's all right for him to do it, but it's not all right for me. It's all right for him, but not all right for me. Mr Speaker, we know what he said, and what he said is, is the same sort of thing the Shadow Treasurer said before Christmas, when he advocated up to... Order. Well, don't be too noisy over there. Yeah. Yeah. Order. The Order. The Deputy Leader of the Opposition. You're so macho. You're so macho. Twice you've had a chance to take the Opposition leadership. The first time you rang your friend next to you and offered it to him. This, this time you sat overseas while John got it from Hawke's Nest. <laughs> Now, when I told our caucus last year that you were a low-altitude flyer, Order. I was right, wasn't I? Mr Speaker, my question without notice is to the Prime Minister. Given the fact that bond yields have steadily risen since your appearance on the Late Line program last Wednesday, and given the fact that interest rates on fixed-rate mortgages have already risen, do you now concede, as the Treasurer does, that official interest rates will be moving upward or do you continue to maintain there is no pressure on official interest rates in Australia? The Honourable the Prime Minister. Speaker, it seemed to me that bond yields had moved up all over the world, so the, so the Shadow Treasurer credits me with great influence, I've got to say, to uh, uh, my late line interview must have travelled far and wide to, uh, to have this devastating impact on bond yields. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. Mr um, Speaker, so uh, I don't think there's any uh, basis uh, for the question other than to display the juvenile qualities of the opposition now seems intent upon presenting uh, with great gusto uh, at uh, each uh, question period and uh, maybe if the coalition was in office there wouldn't be a whole bevy of former leaders on its front bench and deputy leaders. Um, uh, there they sit alone and palely loitering. In his day he was the big spender. That's right. The big spender. Mr. 28.8 per cent of GDP. I mean, how can you come? Look, John, don't waste your time on me, son. Don't waste your time on me. I've been around. I know you. I know you. I know where the skeletons are in your closet. Uh, Mr. Speaker, so, and just Mr. Speaker, on the way uh, about guess who's coming to dinner, oh, can, I just, can I just say a bit, make a point about that little aside, Mr. Speaker? I might ask the Leader of the Opposition, did he have his children on board when he met Kerry Packer for lunch two Thursdays ago? Uh -huh. In his guess who's coming to lunch? <laughs> hey? Or was it just you and Kerry? Was it a nice little meeting? Was it a nice little meeting? How did Kerry treat you? Well, well I hope. You know, one Sydney boy to another. One Sydney boy to better he treats me, eh? Yeah? Yeah, good. Good on you, John. <laughs> The Honourable Member for Patterson. You might go during it. Yes, you believe in families. You arrogantly believe that you can speak for families as if there's something you know about families that the rest of us don't. Yet, yet, you believe you say in families, but you don't believe in family support. You don't believe in payments to low-paid families. You don't believe in a family allowance supplement, additional family payment. You don't believe in Medicare.